Okay, guys, these are the wheels. Look at these wheels, these Riddlers. I've got my... I bet y'all's tired of me talking about wheels. But this is a big thing for me. Okay, I got these American Racing. I'm going to take these Riddlers off. And I'm thinking about putting them on this truck over here. Billy James. In case you're a new person to my channel. Which I've had a few subscribers. Thank God for that. Uh, this is my truck too. Billy James. Tim named it Billy James. It's been a while since I've seen it. But. Tim has had some other things going on. So. Anyway, I'm thinking about putting those wheels on this truck and lower it just a little. Just a little update. I haven't seen this truck in a while. Got my window uh, vent shades, things. Got my ro new rockers. There's a lot of things still to do on it, but it's come a long way when I bought the truck. It's come a long way. <laughs> I know y'all's laughing. But it is what it is. It didn't have a motor and transmission in it, but it does now. This is this hood that I got at the junkyard this past fall at K&K &K Auto Salvage. I have a grill I'm going to put in when I get it home. Uh, got bumper guards for it. I got new front and rear bumpers. The, the sport bumper they haven't put it on yet I've got another bed for this truck which is I'm trying to picture what those wheels would look like on this truck I, I don't know the Riddlers I mean off the 84 Big Red those what do you think Anyway, I've got a lot of a lot of parts to go on it that I have been slowly, slowly gathering up. I'm gonna see if I can ease around here and show you the bed. I know y'all have seen all this before that's been subscribers to my channel. And I don't mean to repeat myself, I truly don't. But I've had quite a few subscribers since then, and I'll try to make this really brief. That's a recent purchase from Tim, that little square body truck. That's a good looking truck too. This is the truck that I bought a few months ago that was wrecked the boy that owned the truck worked at a fast food restaurant and i talked to him about the truck but somehow he i guess he went into a ditch or something could have been missing a cow or i don't know but anyway the bed on this one is coming off to go on billy james quite a few things i'm going to try to take that dash cover off and I don't know about the door panels, but they probably better than what's on Billy James. But anyway, the main thing is the bed is coming off. I think there's a dead possum there. Anyway, there's a lot of good parts on this truck that I think will be useful to try to get Billy James up and going. There's another van. <laughs> boy and a Ford truck that's unusual anyway just a quick go around here I'll show you some of the stuff Tim's got another Ford van a trailer this van was at our local drive-in a few years ago sat there for years and hadn't been run and Tim bought it you don't see drive drive-ins anymore very much. Oh Mercury. Five window Chevy truck. 
looks like another part of a Mercury. I could be, no, that's a Ford. 49 or 50 Ford. Probably not too much left of it. But I'll walk over here because my dad had a 49 Ford that got stolen when I was a kid. I know I've told y'all this before. This is a 49 because the trunk hinges are on the top. Another van. Every time I walk back through here, and I've been back through here a lot, I, I see something I've either forgot or haven't seen before. Looks like a Nissan that had a V8 in it at one time. That's a pretty neat looking Ford. Part of a Chevy truck and I don't know what. I don't know what this is. I guess a Chevy. Yep. I don't know what year, probably, what would you say, 41, 42, I guess. Boy, sure, a lot of gnats flying around. Uh, this is time of year you'd think everything would still be dead, but boy, you get one warm day, or maybe two, and everything and their brother comes out of the woodwork. This belongs to a friend of mine. I'm just kind of showing you around real quick. I don't know what my friend's gonna do with that, but he's into them right there, 67 through 72s. That's his thing. It's good to have a thing, I'll call it. Something to keep you occupied. I know I've showed y'all this before. This little S10. There's that truck I was showing you earlier. It runs. Looks like it's got new tires on it. <laughs> Another Chevy van. I don't know what the deal is on this Mercedes, but oh well. Another Mercury, like the one that I showed you, what, 49? I guess Mercury. If you're interested in anything that Tim has, Give him a call at Gas Axe Chop Shop. He's on Facebook, Gas Axe Chop Shop. His phone number's on there on his Facebook page. And Axe is spelled A-X-E, Axe. Gas Axe Chop Shop. He opens Gas Axe Chop Shop at 5 o'clock in the evenings on the weekdays. On the weekends, he's, you know, kind of in and out. Most of the time open, but sometimes he does his own thing, which everybody needs to break every now and again. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I'm hoping to get back on the Billy James real soon and we can enjoy playing with it and see what we can make it look like. This is P.I.B. and I, as soon as we get her home, See if we can make a big old pile look like something decent. I'll tell you what, it, it doesn't take long to get money stuck in something. Now I know y'all's probably thinking I'm crazy. I should have left a, you know, I should have left this truck uh, where it was at. Just let it be dead, resting peacefully. But I found this thing on a marketplace. I know I've told y'all this story. Found it on marketplace. There's the bumper that was on it. Uh, got sidetracked. Found this truck on marketplace, and uh, the guy was a. Uh, I guess I was one of the first callers because he said his phone was blowing up with people wanting to buy this truck. Uh, had a title with it, but you know, no motor transmission and it's pretty rough. If you'll remember, we've swapped out doors and fenders, and uh, of course, I'm going to swap out the bed, swapped out this fender. There wasn't too many, wasn't too many places on this truck that did not have a dent or a scrape or whatever. So, anyway, it's believe it or not, it looks really, really good compared to when I got it. and I don't know, Some sometimes I question my judgment, but 
it's not a bad truck i don't think once we get it once we get it where we need to get it but swapping the bed will be a big thing and putting rockers in and just tidying up there's a lot to do but at the same time you know i can i can kind of see a lot at the end of the tunnel so that's kind of where we're at i know a lot of people ask where's billy james where billy where's billy james so it's right here i'm sorry it's cold out here but uh it's still here and tim has assured me he's fixing to get back on it some of the things that he's got going in the shop has took a little longer than what he had anticipated so once we get the bed swapped and a few other little things tidied up i think we'll be bringing her home really soon so let me know what you think about the wheels on this and i hope y'all's having a great day thanks for so much for watching don't forget i got a second youtube channel called chevy trucks and i'm on instagram primer is best all one word though and facebook primer is best just there's something about just tell you a little bit about myself there's something about a truck or a car i've had cars too there's my friend there's something about a car or a truck that if it's been left for dead for some reason i'm just really really into it i they all have a story to tell and if you just kind of read the story the story on this truck go on go on the story on this truck is a uh, the guy that owned this truck uh was a a race car driver and the county would get after him and he would outrun them in this truck not that not that the truck was fast it's just because he was a really good driver i had a deputy tell me this he would just i mean he'd just jump and go off in the ditch and out in the field and just get away from the law and a lot he said a lot of times he would he'd just get away from them and that's why there's so many dents and dings and this that and other on the truck so i don't know i'm just attracted sometimes i'm attracted to the story more than i am the vehicle the truck so this kind of got me going i I just had to have it. So anyway, uh, luckily I have an understanding wife, Mrs. P.I.B., that kind of goes along with some of the stuff that I do, believe it or not. Anyway, got long-winded. I apologize. Y'all have a great day. God bless each and every one of y'all. Stay safe. And let me know what you think about old Billy James here, the 78 Chevy C10 truck. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Stay safe. God bless. See you later.